Dominique. That's fun to say. Dominique, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. We were talking about, uh, you know, people that they get home from work and then they, they keep the same damn clothes on the whole time. And uh, Kat thinks that weird because she drops all their clothes, puts on big butt underwear and yeah. something a little more comfy. Uh, you stay in your work clothes all day long? Is that what I'm reading here? Yes. But what are your work clothes? Like, are they like my neighbor, Dina? Dina, who's like head to toe professional. No, not head to toe professional. Actually, we get to wear whatever we want to wear, as long as it doesn't show a lot of cleavage or butt cracks or stuff like that. Well, it's not a place I'd ever want to work, then. Oh, really? Oh, really? Because I remember I had some cleavage showing and I had to have a talk in too. It wasn't me. Come here, little girl. Well, all of a sudden, oh, no, well, all of a sudden I mean, we Kat wasn't working here three weeks and we had to have a big <laughs> sit-down meeting with the president of the company and she looked like she was auditioning for something you'd see on the internet. And, uh, so when you're 20 and they're sitting high and right and somebody wants to just like put a sweater on you and now I'm sitting here like getting ready to have a boob job because they lay next to me in bed. Oh. I, I feel like I wasted all my good years because I was told I had to <laughs> cover up. So like what are you wearing at work today, Dina? Or, I'm sorry, Dominique, that you will wear all day long. So today, because I know it's supposed to snow, um, I'm just wearing a long sleeve shirt and some jeans that has like rips in it. But it, I have something under it just because I don't want to be cold later on. Yeah. Okay. But you don't feel like you got to walk in the door and then just drop everything, huh? No, no. I mean, the most I'll take off is my socks and my shoes because I hate everything on my feet. Yeah. Okay. So you're but like me, you can't that, wait yeah, for... No, I'm probably going to keep this on. You yeah. excited for flip-flop weather? Yes. Oh, my yes. God, me too. I can't wait. All right. All right, interesting stuff. Have a great day today, Dominique. You too. Thank Thanks for you. being on the show. I wanted to bring Amy on. She's been very patient because uh, it's not her, but it's the uh, the old man. We got an issue with your husband here. Like the other day, he left his. He came home from work and left his work clothes on the kitchen table where we eat. And he's a mechanic. Uh, and I gave him the wife look, and he just put his <laughs> tail between his legs, came out there, and put his dirty clothes in the laundry basket. There you go, girl. So, thank you for the call. My wife has this issue with our kids when they walk in the entryway. Uh-huh. If they leave shoes or clothes, anything, she wigs out pretty hard on them. I have to nip it in the bud because Liam will take his clothes off and the leg of his pants will be touching the hamper on the floor. <laughs> and I'm just, I look at him and I'm like, I feel like something's wrong with this picture. And then I turn into my mom, you know, that's it. Something's wrong with this picture. Every day a little bit more. Yep. See a little more Jen going on. Yeah. A little more scary every single day. I know. Crocs are right around the corner. <laughs> Socks and Crocs. Crocs with the little uh, jewels on them. <laughs>